Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and today I wanted to talk about Ark Survival Evolved for a little bit. I wasn't really sure exactly how I wanted to approach this, so I'm just going to talk about some of my thoughts and opinions on the game after having played it for a couple of weeks now. So if I had to give a catchphrase for Ark Survival Evolved at this point in time, it would probably be the coolest clusterfuck of a game on the internet. Uh, and I mean that more as a loving kind of way, because honestly, a lot of the game's problems are, I, I think at least, due to the fact that the game is still in active development. It's not at its official release yet, so you can't really go into this game expecting everything to be perfect. A lot of things are really cool in the game, but there are some problems with it. Oh, just eye gouging, like the AI having some serious collision problems, and the server not exactly responding in the right manner despite having a good ping and despite being an official server. But what's most amazing about this game to me is what people coming together playing, it is a multiplayer game if you haven't figured that one out yet, what these people or tribes can actually manage to accomplish. It's almost kind of like running a corporation and then uh, everybody involved gets assigned tasks based on what they're good at or what they're capable of at the level um, of play that they are currently at. On one hand, it's interesting to have that amount of social interaction in one game. But on the other, it kind of reminds me back to my days of WoW, where the most dedicated members of a guild basically treat it like a part-time job, where they have to get on and they have all these responsibilities that they need to take care of so that everything can keep functioning properly. Now, I totally get that some people out there really live for the ability to create and help other people out and to lead and manage things. But at the same time, looking at it, seeing people log into Steam every day and they're on the game playing, gathering more resources or doing more construction projects, and then the next day they're on again. It's kind of like, wow, you really are putting a lot of time and effort into this game, huh? Honestly, if you really want to get anywhere in Ark Survival Evolved, it's not the most casual of games. Leveling up really slows down as you go up a few levels. It does help if you are in a tribe, because then you can get shared XP and basically leech free levels off of other people doing crafting and things like that. But overall, it takes a long time to craft a really epic base, and it takes a long time to get to like level 50 or 75 or something like that. I'm only at level 22. Now, if you've seen any other Ark Survival Evolved videos, or even just kind of looking at this one where I'm playing mostly on medium settings, you can see that the game really does have some beautiful environments, and that would only be significantly cooler if I actually had a computer that could run at the epic graphics level. In fact, it's not just that my computer can't handle epic, but rather that for me and a lot of other people, yes, I've seen other videos uh, complaining about this kind of thing, the frame rate you get while playing Ark Survival Evolved is pretty horrendous unless you really have a serious gaming computer. But honestly, that's probably to be expected. There's a lot going on around you in the game, which takes up a huge amount of RAM, and the graphics are probably better than every other survival game out there, so... Given that, if you really want to play the game as it's meant to be played, you gotta pay for the hardware. Now about the actual gameplay, a lot of it really just comes down to resource collection. It's like Minecraft, basically. If you want to get anything done, you have to go find the materials in order to do it, to make your weapons, to make your armor, to make your huts, to make your walls, your campfires, to cook the meat. Um, there's just a lot of resource collection going on, and initially... That was kind of fun, but I am starting to feel the grind as I go into the game. It's like if you just took a job as a lumberjack and you went out there with a chainsaw cutting down trees for your company every single day, and then you basically bring home the resources and you get paid for it, and then the next day you do the same thing on repeat. And yes, it can be quite tedious, just like working a job in real life. However, while it can be a bit tedious, it's tediousness in a world where you're basically a superhuman 
able to learn and craft all of these neat items much easier than it would be in real life naturally but in a world filled with the coolest dinosaurs beautiful environments the kind of thing you would never get in the real world um well unless you were going to some really remote places like the jungle and then on top of that the map is huge with a bunch of different environments that you can play around with However, what I gotta say is beyond being a little bit tedious with the resource collection is that the game is incredibly unforgiving to newcomers. And I think I actually liked this in a way because it's not just like, oh, you just pop in, you do whatever, and it's super easy. No, it's more like just spawned into the game for the first time. Enjoy some giant raptors in your face that are going to eat you. But then here's where the fact it's in development really kind of stands out. The AI, or at least the way that everything interacts between the server and the client, is hilariously bad right now. While the raw statistics of some of these dinosaurs should obviously demonstrate, hey, this thing can eat you without even batting an eye, and it rightfully should because it's six times your size, but in reality, in this game, it's really hard for the AI monsters to actually land a blow on you. I don't know exactly what's going on there, like if it's a glitch with the server or something. But it does pull you out of the experience when you can just basically run away from a raptor for like 20 minutes without actually being killed. And not because it can't keep up with you in terms of speed, but because the game is just programmed in such a way where it can't hit you. But all that said about the game, there's definitely a lot of potential here, and I do really like the concept. The first time you get on a dinosaur, maybe from one of your tribe mates, and you go trekking through the jungle like you own the place is quite epic. And the fact that they add in out-of-the-box features like in-game voice chat really helps kind of bring things together, where you actually feel like you're part of the tribe you're working with, almost like it was a real thing that's going on. And since the game is in active development and they're regularly updating the game with new patches and content, I do think as time goes on this game is going to get better and better and hopefully they'll be able to fix some of these catastrophic bugs. Also, here's hoping by that time that the game is really polished that I have a computer that can actually run the game at 60 frames a second. So I've been Dark Skeleton, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.